Hey everyone, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com on July the 18th, 2016 and it's a Monday here in Shanghai, China. Uh, this video is talking about how much money we made in uh, the month of June 2016. And I'm just going to go over the statistics looking at mainly the ad network revenue, uh, which is our main income source for all of our games on iPhone, Google Play and Amazon. So those of you who know the channel have seen this before, this is a pretty familiar video. I do these like every few weeks and it's just a look back on all the revenue that we've made. So hopefully it'll be pretty interesting. You guys will uh, uh, be able to get something out of it or at least kind of compare and see how your games are doing uh, compared to this. So this is Chart Boost. Uh, Chart Boost is usually our main earner. Uh, you can see back in February it was fairly good there. Uh, it's a little strange. I wonder why February was higher than January. I, th I actually think there's an error in the chart back here. I'm quite sure that uh, January was like 5,000 something, not 2,300. So that's a little bit strange. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's sort of cut half of the month because we're halfway through July or something. Um, so pretty low in May. Uh, but in June was a little bit higher. So $2,488. Uh, so let's just say 2,500. Which is good to see. I'm, I'm glad that went up. And it looks like, I think, that July should be a bit higher as well. Actually, let me just go back, guys. I, I just wanted to double check. Um, so, we're on 14.25 now. Let's say, so, uh, 1,300, 2,600. We might finish around 2,600. I'm just thinking roughly when was half of the month, which was the 15th, about. Uh, so a few days ago, maybe it was worth thirteen hundred or twelve hundred. So we might be able to just beat uh, June at uh, this month, which is July. So, uh, but it's good to see that it's gone up anyway. The past couple of months have been pretty bad, as you can see. Um, actually, this spike here that you're seeing, I think, is incorrect as well. I think what happened there was they, uh, they I'd seen a notice at the top of Chart Boost, and they said that oh, there was some analytics error for the 16th which is the Saturday I think yeah the Saturday so that that's probably gonna come down later but which is a real shame I was getting excited there but the statistics don't show in uh, in the uh, app loving or any of the ad networks so I think it's just a chart boost error so oh by the way before I forget guys whoever is seeing this video on the free channel the preview video you'll see around 25 30 percent of this the full video will be on the pro channel which is the other channel on youtube which has all of the, these full videos uh, also a bunch of them that are not on the free channel as well and there's a ton on this subject the revenue summary videos so if you're looking for all of those videos you can uh, you can find them on the pro channel and i'll put a link in the description below uh, it is a paid channel. It's only $3 a month, though, guys. Hopefully, it's totally worth it. Uh, it's a two-week free trial on YouTube as well. So if you don't like it after two weeks, you can just unsubscribe and you don't have to pay anything. So, you know, check it out anyway. Uh, it, there's nothing to lose. And if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, you don't. So the full video, uh, uh, the full video of this preview video is going to be in the link. And I'll put, the, I'll put that in later so you can check it out there. Um... So let's just take a look. This is I can't go back. Oh, sh 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 I can't go back until June. Uh, sorry about the volume there, guys. Louis, my dog Chihuahua is going nuts. Uh, we're making around. Let's take a look at the money earned. About seventy-five dollars a day on average on Chart Boost this past thirty days. Let's go back to three months just so I can have a longer perspective on this. Um, but it's not been very good on chart boost recently. Uh, you can see there we had a really big drop. I mean, thirty-four dollars in one day is really terrible, really terrible for us. There has been some increase there, as you can see, it's sort of going up. Uh, is that due to new installs? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's starting to flatten out here. Probably because a lot of the kids are going on holiday now. Uh, in North America, it's more of the holiday time, so a lot more people downloading games. Uh, you can see because the spikes here are the weekend and the flat parts of the week, but you can see here it's a little bit flatter. Uh, my dog is pushing Louis. Stop doing that, buddy. Um, so oh, I wish that spike could just stay up there. That would be really cool. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to change. It'll probably come back down later and I'll be gutted. So 
The but yeah, it looks like so the the there has been an increase in installs, which is good to see. Obviously, the money is the bottom line here, but around here, seventy-five dollars every day, and it looks like it was roughly that throughout June as well. There's the first of June. There's been a couple of spikes, so seventy-five dollars each day. Uh, ideally, on chart boost and app Lovin, we're trying to achieve a hundred dollars on both both ad networks. Uh, that's a very comfortable level for us. So anything kind of below that, it, it starts to cause a bit of trouble. Uh, luckily though, as a small business that's been going now for five years, we do have some money in the bank, which is great. So for these low months, these uh, months, you know, of uh, stormy weather, whatever you want to call it, uh, we've got some uh, capital buffer, you know, we've got some money in the bank to cover us in case there's any like shortfall, which is good. So um, cash flow is king as a small business, cash is king. Uh, cash flow is needed before you go out and change the world, in my opinion. Um, and we've been doing that for five years, so uh, when will we change the world? Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, but that's good to see anyway. Uh, I think uh, let's just take a look at boot tops as well. And I'll also show the uniques and I'll just scroll along there. If you're interested in the specific numbers, you can just pause the video as I'm going through here. Uh, but they're pretty much the same, they're pretty much level. No sort of like stellar killer games that we're trying to uh, that, that are spiking up and increasing the the downloads. Uh, I did see from one of the guys on the forum uh, that they you know they'd done some advertising. I think it was Joseph you'd mentioned uh, you'd done some advertising and you'd shown us a chart as well, and it, you looked like it was going really good. Uh, we want to do more paid advertising as well, of course, but we need to get a game with a better ARPU. We've built a couple of games recently, some of the sniper games actually, which have done a little bit better in terms of boot ups. Uh, they seem to be getting a lot more plays, which is good. So we're getting better in that area of making games more fun uh, and, uh, and trying to specialize in the FPS area uh, because it's a genre that we like and I, I enjoy it as well personally. But we need to improve the ARPU. That really is essential because if we want to do paid advertising we can't have like one cents ARPU we'll just be blowing loads of money it needs to be closer to that 50 cents um, range and that's a big leap as well that's a big big jump so it's about retention about getting more unique users daily active users uh, and also creating the type of gameplay which which allows for a, a higher ARPU so things like the cash edition games and the kill the ragdoll games that we do so uh, and also the poker game that we released as well. Uh, I'll do a separate video on that, but hopefully we we'll, should see on iOS like an increased ARPU pretty soon.